In today's episode, we covered four different audios. We used the audio in our main menu. We also created one in our gameplay. We added the jump scare and we also added sound for knocking on the cross. So you can expect this in today's episode and see ya in the tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back to the sixth episode of uh, our horror tutorial and in this episode uh, we're gonna be adding a music into our Unreal Engine 5 so let's just start with it by downloading the music I've I found some music that I like and uh, I will leave the links in the description of course uh, but if you don't want to follow with my music you can use your music but just make sure your file ends on love and not mp3 so make sure it's ending like this. Uh, if you are downloading from YouTube sound, make sure it's not copyrighted because you, you can only use the music that you are allowed to, just like for everything else. So let's say I like this music, I copy the I copy the link from the this is a share button, but it's in creation. So just copy it. And you can go to site with what's called uh, YouTube to WAV and you can use whatever site you want and make sure you convert it to WAV with that link. With that being said, we also have the free sound uh, links that are also pretty simple. All you have to do is create an account on the freesound.org. I will leave a link in the description. And once you create an account, you can just download the sound. And this means the sound is free to use. So. Uh, all of these sounds that I downloaded are free to use, no copyright, so uh, we can just start with it. We can uh, go up to our downloads, here I have my files that I download, and we can just, uh, I, I created the audio folder uh, earlier, so we can just put our files here, like this. And now I will just test. So this one is going to be for our background. And this one is going to be gameplay. Music. Okay, I just want to rename them so I, I have easier time using those. Let's see what is this. I just implemented this so I can show you how to interact with the cross without needing to cast. So just uh, call it cross knock. And this one is jump scare. So I created jump scare as well so I can show you how to overlap without casting as well. So let's go and put it into our scene. So first thing first, if we want to add the background sound, what we can do is, we can just pull our file on the scene. And this is gonna work, but it's not gonna loop, so what we need to do is select it on scene, delete it, and create queue. And leave it like this, and now we can open it, and we need to make sure we select WAV player and uh, loop it permanent so it loops forever in our scene also you can create uh, more of these sounds right and you can mix them together so it's not only one sound and now we can just drag this file and if we go and click play we can hear we have music in our level but wherever we go we're gonna hear the same right so what we can do also is we can go under the details here, we select the our queue and go under details and we, t we can type uh, attenuation and we can select override. Okay, so what this does, here we can select the music and we can just place some object there so we know where it is, uh, just so we know where the music is loudest can go ahead and place it down there so this is where our music is so here is where the music should be 
the highest. So this small circle radius is inner radius and it's basically where the sound is going to be played 100%, like 100% strength. But fall of distance is where sound is slowly going to fade away, right? So we can see, we can just go and test it actually. As you can see, we cannot hear the music here, but once we get closer, you hear that? Here is the strongest. As you can hear, you only hear it on the left headphone. And it's fading away. So the sound is only there, playing at that certain location. It's okay, you see that. But I don't want to do, do it with uh, this sound. Uh, this is uh, very good when you want to create radio, for example, and when the player interacts with radio, he can hear the radio only in that uh, particular zone and not on the whole map, right? Uh, so I would use that for this, for that. But for now, I don't want uh, attenuation. I will uh, simply tick it off. And I want to hear my sound everywhere and I want it to loop as well, right? So that's how you do that. And now we will also put it in the main uh, menu. We can go to our main menu level and we can just drag our main menu background music that we just created. And now if I'm if I was about to play, you can hear the music in the main menu. And it works perfectly. But uh, it's not gonna loop. So once it run out, one uh, once it finished, it's not gonna loop. So what we need to do here is just create queue, press enter, select it, select wave player, uh, and <coughs> save it, and press loop of course. So now we can delete this and get our queue. And now if we press play, we have it, but it's gonna permanently loop, right? Okay, so now we did that. Uh, now uh, what I wanted to show you, we have two more sounds to check. And we're gonna do it right now. So, we will go to our blueprints, actors, and we're gonna make trigger box. But we're gonna blueprint, actor, make it like this, call it test sound actor. So we're gonna add cube so we know where the test zone is, like the box collision, because we are not gonna be able to see box collision. And now we're gonna add box collision. Make it a little bit bigger. Or you can actually just make it like this, so the player goes through it. Okay, so now what we need to do with this box collision, if you remember, we created interaction system just so we can uh, we can uh, interact with our uh, actors in the world without casting to our character. So class settings and implement interface BPI interact. Now you remember also we made on interact and is interactable. Uh, function in our interface. So we want to press interactable because we want to interact with this. And on interact, uh, don't need to do anything actually. I need to uh, select the box collision. This is our box collision. So this is that. It's invisible. We right click it, add event, on component, begin overlap. So now you are wondering how are we gonna connect our character without casting? It's pretty simple because we can just call on interact. Uh, we can call on interact message. So why is this good? Because now other actor is our target, and that's it. We can just now play sound play sound 2D, or you can play sound at location if it's multiplayer game, 
you need to play sound at location uh, or you just want a uh, whole map to hear the same sound uh, volume so let's say we want to play sound to D we will just select jump scare and we're gonna contact and we want to do once so because if we don't do once the every time a uh, player collides with uh, our begin overlap box uh, our collision box sorry uh, that means it's gonna play the sound every time but we don't want it because we want to jump scare him only once because if we jump scare him 20 times on the same spot he's gonna know what's happening right so completed and we can go and test it out simply pull the actor into the scene and we can try to test it so now we have a sound right going in the background and we got jump scare but if we go again through it it's not gonna jump scare us so it works only once because uh, also uh, this sound in the background is actually pain in my ears so we're just gonna go to the content uh, audio and gameplay music we're gonna put volume on 0 0.5 so now if we go it's not that loud and the jump scare is still there also you can adjust the jump scare volume here you can do whatever you want with it uh, and uh, that's pretty much it uh, we cover that part we cover the background music and uh, we can uh, cover this one as well uh, that we wanted to do so this one is a little bit different we'll go to the blueprints actors bp cross game and uh, here we have event on interact because we press e to interact with it not overlap so we are not overlapping with our body into their collision we are just interacting with our line trace here so we're gonna play sound to the And we're gonna call cross knock but we didn't set do once so that means now we can permanently knock on the cross so that's it we covered everything that I wanted to cover today and uh, our music works super good uh, if there is something else that you don't um, that you are not sure about about music you can post in comments and i'll try to answer everyone i give my best to answer every comment on the channel but if i miss some uh, i'm really sorry but make sure it's uh, i will i promise it's gonna be looked at so for today's video we are done we covered the uh, all about music and in the next tutorial we're gonna be opening some doors and closing ones so Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next episode. Bye.